What is going on guys? This is Prodigy here once again and I know it has been a very long time since <laughs> since I've uploaded a video on this channel um, but I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends lately and I just felt you know a little inspired to actually you know make a video and upload it um, but I've been playing a lot of the new ranked mode that they released in season two. Uh, when Apex Legends first came out I really liked it and I played it a lot um, then I felt like it kind of got a little stale and you know they didn't really add enough content in there for me to for it to keep my attention so I kind of stayed away from it. Uh, I've been playing other games and just kind of you know chilling not recording or uploading or anything like that but um, since the start of season two and especially with the new ranked mode um, it kind of drew me back in. I'm really really enjoying the ranked mode. I've been kind of addicted to it. I'm currently in platinum three uh, hopefully platinum 2 by the time uh, this goes up but the mode has been really fun for me so I just wanted to make a video because ever since the launch of Apex Legends people have been requesting including myself um, a solos playlist now if you don't already know which you probably do uh, Apex Legends is currently a three person squad uh, I guess you call it a team based game so there's no solos playlist. Um, each person uh, out of the three picks a character with different abilities. Um, and you, like, however you want your squad to, to play or you know what style suits you, you pick characters based on that ability. And you go out there, you try to win with your squad. Um, now this obviously creates a lot of problems for some people because you know not everybody just has a squad to play with. So of course that leaves you getting matched up with randoms. Randoms don't always have a mic, they don't always want to talk or communicate properly or even really want to try to win the game. A lot of times they're just messing around even though they're in the ranked playlist and that's really frustrating for some people and so some people have been, you know, very, very vocal about, you know, Respawn adding a solos playlist to Apex Legends. And it, finally, it appears Respawn has, has heard your cries. <laughs> They've, uh, They've, they've heard the outcry from the community and starting August 13th, uh, they will launch a solos playlist in Apex Legends. Now, that sounds good on the surface, but uh, there's a couple of catches here that I kind of want to talk about in this video that I'm not really sure everybody is considering. So, first off, um, they are releasing a solos playlist, but they're only releasing it as a limited time mode. Um, I'm not sure the exact date that it's going to end, but it's not just going to be a permanent playlist in uh, Apex Legends. It's only going to be here for a short amount of time. My assumption as to why they're doing that is because they want to, you know, test it out and get player feedback on the mode before they just throw it in the game. Um, which I think is extremely smart. I think that was the right move. Um, this kind of allows you to, you know, address the concerns of the community uh, while also keeping the health and the status of your game into consideration as well. Um, so, great move on Respawn, making it a limited time mode. I'm definitely going to be playing it out. Um, but there are definitely some major concerns I have about this solos mode um, because personally, um, after giving it some deep thought, I just do not think Apex Legends is going to thrive as a solo man battle royale um, just because of the nature of the game. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of reasons why. Um, if you want, if you have your own reasons or if you just completely disagree with me, feel free to comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. But here's my thoughts on it. So I'm going to touch on a couple of things. Um, the first thing is that kind of like I was saying in the beginning, uh, Apex Legends at its core is a team-based game. You know, it's it's meant for squads of right now three people. And the reason for that is because each character has a different set of abilities that they use. Like uh, someone like uh, Caustic or Watson, um, they're defensive characters. So they're meant to kind of hold down an area uh, while, you know, if you have a Bangalore or a Wraith on your squad, they're, or, or a Bloodhound, they're, you know, they, they hunt people, they go out, they get the kills, not that Caustic or Watson can't get kills, but they're not designed for that, you know, Caustic, he's a, he's a big, slow character, he's meant to be more on the defensive end, so it's meant for players to kind of use their different abilities to work together to win the game as a squad, 
when you put solos in the mix and you have different characters with different abilities, I just really think it throws off the balance of the game as a whole. And the problem with that is, you know, everybody having different abilities, I just don't think the game will flow as well with one person picking a character with a particular set of abilities versus a group of people picking different characters to work together. Um, I think that will really slow the game down. Um, it'll throw off the balance. It, it'll, it'll frustrate a lot of people because if you have, you know, like a bunch of caustic players or, or Watson players um, who prefer to play slow, you know, and, and camp, you know, they can do that. You know, you can have a caustic who can set up a bunch of gas traps in a building and just kind of chill there the whole game. Uh, and that's going to be really frustrating for some people playing solo, I'm sure, because you may know the caustic is camping in there and you might want to try to get in. Uh, and in the process of doing that, you know, you might get third parties and shot by somebody else. So uh, it's a it's it's a risky move. Um, I'm not sure everybody has really thought about the different possibilities, but I just don't think I, I don't think solos. I think it throws off the balance of the overall game and the flow of it. Uh, as opposed to it being squads. Um, the next thing I kind of want you guys to take into account um, is the movement. Now this isn't really a, a big thing, um, but as you know, each character moves at a different speed. So I was just talking about how Caustic, he's a big slow guy. Uh, where you, On the other end you have Wraith, who can run extremely fast, or Bangalore, who can run fast, and also runs faster when people are shooting at her. So. Again, this isn't really on the higher end of my concerns, it's just something that I kind of thought of. Um, but considering that people move at different speeds, it just wouldn't make sense for a lot of people to pick slower characters in a solo playlist, you know, if considering you're going to have to move around a lot, if that's your playstyle. Um, like I said, some people might prefer to just, you know, move building to building and just camp. Um, if that's how you play, you know, more power to you, I'm sure you'll be fine with that. Uh, but for players who like to move, you know, they're not going to pick slower characters. There's, there's just no reason to. So you might just have either everybody picking one character like Wraith, where there's no variation, um, or everybody just doing the opposite. You know, I don't, I don't really see there being a good mix of characters in a solo playlist in Apex Legends. To take it a step further from that, um, if you're in like a late game situation where it's like, you know, the the last or the second to last ring and, you know, there may be a couple of people left, like so maybe five or six, and you have to move quickly during the end of the circle. That instantly puts the bigger uh, defensive players at a disadvantage because they can't move as quickly. Where if you have a Wraith or a Bangalore, you know, in this late game situation, they can maneuver a lot easier, or a Pathfinder, uh, they can maneuver a lot easier. You know, the Pathfinder could maybe even grapple just on top of a house and get a high ground on everybody, um, and he has the advantage because that's just his ability. So these things you got to take into account when you're thinking like late game situations or even earlier mid game. Um, you know, just the different advantages and disadvantages of each character. I think it's going to cause a lot of frustration in the community when they actually have to play out these scenarios as opposed to just thinking of the idea of a solos playlist. And I don't want to drag this on too long. I definitely want to know you guys' thoughts. Um, but before that, I just wanted to touch on the last thing that I think um, is going to be a big factor um, in solos playlists and why I don't think it's a good idea um, is the lack of accountability of the player base. Now. This is more of like a philosophical thing, um, but I'm sure we've all done it. Okay, we've all been in games, whether it's a casual game or a ranked game, and we feel like you know our teammates are just the worst teammates ever. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, they didn't want to revive you. They don't. They their their aim is bad. They always want to go off on their own and just get in pointless fights and die. We get it. You know, we've all been in that situation. I've been in that situation. Um, and it's frustrating. It's very frustrating to, to be paired with somebody who you feel is not on your level skill wise. Um, but there is another end of that spectrum that we should definitely take into account. And I, I don't think a lot of players do take into account. A lot of players are not accountable for their own mistakes. So 
because you know they're playing with the random and they're probably not communicating you know they just assume that they're doing everything right you know the random does something you may not agree with it and you're like why are you doing this but you don't exactly know what's going on on his side uh, his or her side you know he may be making the right play in his situation and maybe you may be making the wrong play you know it's it's difficult to just assume that the random is always at fault because he's a random where on his end you're kind of a random too so he's probably saying the same thing about you you know you're not playing the game properly um but that all just that falls back on communication and why people prefer to play with the squad but i really believe a lot of the times that people you know are blaming randoms in these situations they're not really taking into account the correct plays you know they may push somebody and then they're like Oh, why isn't the random pushing with me? You know, we need to go kill these guys. We need to go do this. But the random, you know, he might be saying, wait a second, there's three other squads over there about to pull in there. If we push this, we're going to get third and fourth party and we're going to die like in two seconds. Let's not push that. Let's stay here and wait it out. But, you know, you may not see that from your perspective. And so you push it and then you guys are on two different pages and then you die and then nobody's happy. And then you're blaming the random because, oh, I told him to push. We could have won that fight, um, which you may, have won, you may have won the fight. You may have not have won the fight. But in the bigger picture, you know, the problem is you guys just not being on the same page and you not being accountable for your own mistakes, uh, whether that be being too aggressive or not being aggressive enough or whatever it may be. Um, and that doesn't just apply to Apex Legends either. It applies to pretty much any team-based game. Uh, I, I think players oftentimes just really need to take a step back and look at their own playstyle and their own actions to really determine, like, hey, was this really, was I really making the right move here? Was the random really at fault for this? Or was he really making the right play and I was just being stubborn and not wanting to cooperate? Um, could go either way. You know, it's a case-by-case -case scenario, but... That's just one thing that I think people need to take into account uh, in this. And that's, you know, the solos playlist kind of gives them that that relief like, oh, you know, I don't have to deal with randoms anymore. I can finally be good. And it's going to be a harsh reality for a lot of these people who aren't being accountable because they're going to realize that, oh, wait a second. It wasn't my teammates that was causing me to lose all the time. I just don't really make the best decisions. And once you single that out in solos, you know, you're kind of forced to look at yourself. So, you know what? I take it back. Maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing that uh, the solos playlist is coming out because people, like I said, people will have nobody else to blame but themselves for different decisions that they make in game. Hopefully, um, you know, some good comes out of it, but I just wanted to kind of bring that out and bring some perspective um, to this playlist before it actually comes out. Um, just some food for thought, something you guys to think about. Like I said, um, if you're watching this and you agree or you disagree or you want to mention another point, um, please comment below in the comment section. I'd love to hear different thoughts on this. So let you know. Let me know if you think I'm crazy or if you think I'm onto something. Whatever it may be. But I've talked long enough. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'd appreciate if you you know just left a like on the video. Nothing crazy, but just tap the like button that's all you got to do um and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video pretty soon i got a couple of things recorded so hopefully i'll be uploading those soon so talk to you guys later see you